Just how similar will Armored Core 6 be to previous From Software games like Elden Ring and Sekiro? Well, a new gameplay preview might have the answers you're looking for. Yesterday, Bandai Namco released a gameplay preview of the highly anticipated mech game. At the time of this recording, it already has over a million views and is trending at the number nine spot on YouTube overall. The preview follows protagonist 621, an independent mercenary, to the fictional planet of Rubicon 3. The game is an open world, but each mission appears to take place on massive, multi-layered maps. Armored cores, the mechs in this game can be equipped with up to four different weapons, one for each arm and shoulder, but the first mechanic shown off was the assault boost, which is used for traversal and maneuvering in combat. Not too dissimilar to the rolling mechanic in FromSoft games that we've all come to know and love, but I think you're gonna get a little more mileage out of this one, especially with being able to customize different parts to, you know, increase the amount of time and how fast you're able to boost. There's also a flashy melee move and a stagger mechanic. What's probably the most similar to other Souls games though is the level of customizability players are given to deck out their builds. We got a quick look at the core assembly menus where players can quickly customize weapons, head, body, and internal components which will all impact how you'll want to approach enemies on the battlefield. Armories are scattered about so you can customize or change tactics mid-mission and the preview showed off a variety of enemies from smaller mechs to completely airborne threats. Another similarity to Souls games here is there are bosses and rival AC pilots which will require you to analyze patterns and anticipate fatal attacks. A lot of games have that, but obviously this is being made by the same developers who worked on games like Sekiro. So you're gonna see some similarities in here for sure. We'll get to that in just a sec. It looks really intense. And while pretty different aesthetically from From Software's most popular games, there's more than a little something here, I think, for Elden Ring and Sekiro fans. There are two clear missions in the preview. One is an assault on a base, while the other is an assault on a massive Rubicon Liberation mining ship called the Strider. It has a giant laser cannon on the top of it shaped like an eyeball, and it takes shots at you all throughout your approach. So yeah, with this new trailer, it's easy to see some of the crossover between the games that really put From Software on the map and Armored Core 6, a game from a long-running franchise that many From Software fans hadn't heard of until recently. It doesn't hurt that renowned From Software president Hidetaka Miyazaki helped develop the game in its early stages, and Armored Core's director Masaru Yamamura, who previously served as the main combat designer on Sekiro, even told GameSpot, one element that carries indirectly from Sekiro is the more highly dynamic and aggressive combat setting. So that's something we wanted to incorporate into Armored Core. However, Armored Core games already have a pretty dedicated fan base, so hopefully they don't end up losing too much of what makes those games special for them. A post on the PlayStation blog breaking down the new preview promises that Armored Core 6, quote, is a title that doesn't forget its complex mech simulator identity while still finding fresh ways to advance its formula for a new generation. So we'll have to wait and see, but so far it looks like the preview has demonstrated a, a decent amount of crossover here that I think that Elden Ring fans and Sekiro fans are gonna have something to look forward to. In other Armored Core news, a leak of the box indicates that there will be PvP, but it will be limited to six players and three spectators. Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon is out August 25th. All right, that's it for today. Definitely let me know in the comments if you plan on picking this one up. I know I'm pretty excited for Armored Core 6. I also wanted to let you know that I'm gonna be taking a small break. I'm gonna be gone for about two weeks. Someone else is going to write and edit Roundup, so be on the lookout for that. Please keep continuing to support the channel. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And for more video game news and updates, stay tuned right here to Inside Gaming.